So next, I'm gonna demonstrate how to use the inventory system. So first, let's create a new scene, and we remove the camera. I'll drag the OVR camera, and in our inventory system, go to pr、uh, prefab folder, and we drag the. OVR inventory prefab. We have two different styles. One is the wooden, like the brown color. Another is like the glass. Ah,、uh, here is how we actually create our inventory system. So first, we need to create some items. So we right click, create VR inventory. Click the inventory item. And you just name it. For example, you want a gun or helmet. You just put the name of your item, and then there are two prefabs you need to provide, which is a game prefab and display prefab. So, uh, there's a reason why I separate them. Why you couldn't just use one prefab and put in the slot. The reason is for your game prefab, you might have more functionalities rather than just display. You maybe can scale them using two hands, or maybe you can rotate them using the joystick. But we don't want that to happen in our inventory system. In our inventory system, we just want it to be a static object. It's just the look and feel. Normally, I will create a folder called Display Prefabs. This folder is only used for putting all the game objects that is used for displaying in the inventory slot. Next, I'm going to drag the helmet prefabs that I have already downloaded from the Unity Asset Store. So this is how we decide the size of our display. We put the object inside the container, and we adjust the size. And I wanted to rotate a little bit, so it looks, ah,、uh, better. And then we can drag the helmet into the display prefabs folder. So now let's create our helmet that is used for the gameplay. So we drag a new helmet into our scene. Then let's add a box slider and rigid body on the helmet game object. Then let's add inventory grabbable. So the last thing we need to add is called storable component, which means it can be stored in our inventory system. Then we can drag the helmet item into the inventory item field. Then we can drag our helmet into the assets folder and make it as a helmet game prefab. And then we can open up our helmet item and we put the display prefab and game prefab. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. Um. Ah.、Oh, okay. The next step is actually how to set up the OVR grab function. Um. If you see any other tutorial, you might already know how to do it. But here, I will just demonstrate how I do it. So, uh, you need to first add a sphere collider. Um. Okay, and you make it is triggered, and you add a rigid body. Disable use gravity, use is kinematic. 
Now you need to import inventory grabber. But the inventory grabber is actually has all the functionality as the same way as OVR grabber because it actually inherits uh, it inherits the OVR grabber. So the difference is uh, I mean you can still use OVR grabable and it can still grab the OVR grabable, but inventory grabber has more functionality to operate with the inventory system. And everything is still the same. Drag it. Okay. And yeah, it's pretty much about it. So let's just do a test. The last thing I need to mention is that you can actually initialize the VR inventory items in the inventory system by going to the inventory manager uh, component inside the VR inventory prefab. So you can initialize some items in the initial list. And also you can change the layout of the inventory system by go to the layout game object under the VR inventory prefab. So you can change how many columns you want or how many rows you want.